Hey guys, welcome back. Houston Math Prep here. In this video, we're going to take a look at two categories for random variables, discrete random variables and continuous random variables. So a random variable represents a value associated with each possible outcome in a probability experiment. And it turns out that all random variables fall into one of two categories, and those are discrete and continuous. The rules for how we work with random variables in each category are a little bit different, so we want to start out by figuring out which is which and how we can tell. So a discrete random variable uh, will have values that are distinct and separate. So that would be like one, two, three, for example, outcomes when we roll a die. They will often be counts. And there are a finite number of values. Comparing that with its opposite being continuous, Continuous, instead of being distinct and separate, we will get ranges of values. Continuous random variables will always be measures rather than count. So that would be things like height or age or weight or that kind of idea. And these have an infinite number of values. Like I said, the rules for working with discrete random variables are a little bit different than working with continuous random variables. So let's practice looking at some categories and trying to determine, are these discrete or are they continuous? All right, so here's a list of random variables that we might get from a probability experiment. So let's determine with each one, does it represent a discrete or continuous scenario? So the first one, the number of typos in an English essay. So the question that I like to ask myself is, is that a measure or is that a count? I would say that if I was, if I was trying to figure out how many typos in an English essay, I would be counting those. You could have zero typos if you're lucky. Maybe you have one, two, three. Those are counts, so that's going to be discrete. The number of road accidents on a given day in Houston. You know anything about Houston? We've got a lot of big major freeways, so that's probably a pretty large number. But once again, it is a count. There might be 10 accidents or 15 accidents. So that is discrete. The height of a person. So there are lots and lots of different possible heights, and height is not a count, it is a measure. We measure how tall someone is. So this would represent a continuous random variable. The number of siblings that an individual has. So we don't measure the number of siblings, we count them. So that would be discrete. The age of a person, that is again, that is a measure, especially depending on how you're measuring. Are you measuring in years, weeks, days? So that would be continuous. And profit earned by a company. Profit would be a measure of a dollar amount. And there are infinitely many values there, so that would be continuous. All right, guys, in our next videos, we'll talk about how we work with these different types, but that does it for this one. We'll catch you in the next one.